Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Banished. Okay, we need to do a few things. Um, one that I thought I had started in our last installment was building a well. And um, I actually thought I had just taken care of that last time. But apparently I didn't. So let's go ahead and place that here. We've never had a fire in our community, but it is something that can happen. So I want to go ahead and um, kind of put in a preventive measure. Now, the other thing that I also want to do, a viewer was nice enough to let me know that not all merchants disregard food, like they are willing to pay you for it. Whereas the one we had last time, it was valued at zero. So we're going to go ahead and just bring some food over here. And uh, because I also noticed last time it seemed really slow when we were trying to get stuff over here. And I just don't want to get caught kind of flat footed. Now, given that I'm about to use up a bunch of our fish, yeah, I mean, we still have a fair amount. But I have literally no one fishing right now. So I'll go ahead and put one guy on the case. And I guess with that, I'm kind of stuck for workers. Um, we're really low on iron, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to cut the blacksmith for now. And I guess I don't really need a dedicated trader right now. But the others, I pretty much need to leave in place. So we'll have three builders working on the well. And it doesn't look like we need laborers to do that now. It looks like all the materials have already been moved over. So it won't be long. And if we can go just a short while with, <laughs> without any fires, I think we'll be okay. Now another thing we should probably go ahead and do is take care of building roads right up to the doorway of some of these homes. Like this. Yep, there we go. Okay. Um... And then same thing here. Yeah, that's fine. And did I already do that over here? I kind of can't tell. It doesn't seem like it to me. Uh, that's fine. I just don't want them to have to move through tiles that are not, you know, not roads. Uh, they'll just slow down for however long that takes. And I suppose the same thing is really true over here, isn't it? So if we want to uh, bring stuff over to this, then we need to build a road out. Okay. Now where I also want to build a road is to down here. I want to build a bridge across here and use that to start gathering iron because unfortunately it's becoming kind of apparent to me that this mine is it's just not producing much. We have eight people working in here and so far we've gotten a grand total of 13 iron going. I mean... That's not really very good, if I may say it. So I'm probably going to have to cut the staffing back because it seems like, just like when we tried boosting the quarry's manpower, we didn't really get much more stone out of it. Um, yeah, I was really hoping if I put eight people to work in that mine, we'd get something out of it. Now, one thing I may do, I didn't notice this at first, but see, like we're, we can switch to coal. Now I need iron, so I'm gonna leave it alone for now. 
Um, but next time I put the blacksmith to work, I really want him to have coal available so he can make the better tools. Now it looks like our well is complete, so that's good. If um, the worst happens and we have a fire, at least, you know, we'll be able to fight it. Now, what is it? It's early autumn and it looks like we've pretty much got all those roads taken care of. So I guess what we'll do is get ready with the next batch. Uh, so let's see. I want to come pretty much along that coastline. Hopefully we're not going to destroy a million trees doing this, but I expect, you know, we are going to take some down. Now it looks like my happiness has fallen a bit, so I may have to do something like build a cemetery. I noticed that helps uh, boost, well, it's preventing sadness uh, and we are going to have more people dying. I assume preventing sadness is more or less equivalent to boosting happiness. Where would we want to put a cemetery? Do we want to put it like out here somewhere? Um, how big is one? There's a question. Oh, that's interesting. Cemetery is too small. Uh, come on. I don't actually intend... Okay, so you have to go at least 7 by 7. Now, I don't know if they actually, like, keep track of how many people die, and then, <laughs> you know, you, uh, you have to kind of, you, like, build another one later if it gets filled up. I don't know. Can't we just cremate everybody? Okay, so they're working their way up. It looks like uh, uh, this whole area has yet to be filled in. So I can't really do a whole lot until that happens. I mean, I could start building the bridge, but what's the point? I mean, the idea is I wanted to have that whole process go faster because of the road. I am tempted to do the cemetery. You know, we have a lot of people dying. Now, our happiness did just bounce back up. Uh, we lost another guy to old age. And or earlier, we lost someone in a workplace accident. Jolena the Forester was killed by a falling tree. So that's pretty sad. How are my miners doing? Yeah, a little better. Uh, I do want to build another house as well. We actually have, you know, quite a bit on our agenda right now. But again, I'm still, <laughs> still waiting. I could speed it up, but I don't really want to. Maybe what I'll do is before I start building the, well, no, I'm going to go in the reverse order. We'll start building the bridge because once winter comes all progress will probably stop oh hell i can't build a bridge there can i wait if i can build it in the one spot come on nope it ain't gonna work it is not going to freaking work all right so i'm gonna do that and then apparently what that means is that we need a little bit more road. Didn't realize we were going to have to do that. Whatever. I'm not going to obsess about it. So we have a lot of people carrying stuff hither and yon. I'm not entirely sure if that's for the bridge. It's interesting there's a road here, but that they just cut across, isn't it? I don't know if they're still getting the bonus or or what. 
Okay, she's building out that road. Get to it, ma'am. Why would she go and skip tiles? I've noticed that before. Like, they do some of them, but not all of them. That's so odd. Yeah, they're definitely bringing out the building materials already. So that's pretty cool. Um, wow, they've brought almost all of it. That is awesome. Do we need any more builders? No, two is perfect. And it looks like we lost another person to old age. I mean, this is what I was saying. <laughs> Maybe I need that cemetery. Our happiness is holding up, though, so... It may not be a big thing. I have been thinking about our population size. And in addition to building homes, to really get our numbers up, I am wondering, uh, apparently, if I build a town hall, we can then have uh, nomads move here. Now, I was warned by a viewer that nomads can bring disease with them. And I think it, they were not educated, um, that kind of stuff. That really put me off when I first heard it. It just sounded like a disadvantage. But I'm actually thinking, uh, just as in a real country, a lot of times immigration can really spur a lot of growth. We may be in a similar situation where we're going to need an infusion of, of more folks. But the problem with that is that man i would need to build a lot of homes like i mean you see how many i've built oh wait 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 we got a uh, we got a merchant so let's actually stop the action let's see what he's got hmm chestnuts and pecans well okay i mean it's food it's stuff we don't have I'm not like super excited about this just because of the fact that um, I mean we're already feeding people I'm just literally gonna trade him food for food why do I not have venison here did I not yes I did put 300 desired but I have none am I out of venison no I have 1500 venison well that's very strange and that's kind of disappointing because he will give me more for the venison. He'll pay three, but he only gives one for the fish. Ugh, God. All right, well, whatever. Let's just do this. Um, I'm going to give him 200 fish in exchange for 100 and 100. Okay. Okay. But here's the thing. Um, let me let me staff this place up again because I need that crap brought over here, and uh, I maybe that's the problem. I thought a laborer would do it. Okay, what's going on? It literally will not. Oh, because I don't have any laborers. Okay, well I'm gonna take away a miner. And then I'm going to staff this up. Now, I don't know if that'll work, but I'm hoping it will. And if it does, what I'll probably do is just trade him some venison for more of these nuts. I might as well. I don't want to trade too much away, but... We have a lot of venison. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is bring more over. I'm going to go up to 500. Okay. Wow, did we seriously just lose yet another one? Or Oh my god, that's so freaky. So look at this, Elmine or Elmine the farmer died of old age and then he was replaced uh, by Vanus. But then also in late autumn, uh, Vanus died of old age. So hopefully Xavi <laughs> is uh, a lot younger because our poor farmers are going to get really depressed. 
Okay, how are we doing over here? Uh, we're still building. Maybe what I should do is just pause this since it's so far out. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and start working on the house. Because I'm pretty sure we can build the... Um, is this where I want it? I think so. I mean, it's not exactly like super attractive, but whatever. Um, yeah, okay, we're already we're already running. All right, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. So we'll build another house, try to get another couple settled. Um, I think we still have some people living like with their parents. Like this guy, Lion, 21, next door neighbor, uh, Raylinette, Raylinette, something like that. See, those two could totally move in here. Boom, they're good. And we have enough people getting older that uh, I think the faster the others start having kids, the better. Okay, so the chestnuts and pecans are over here. That's good to see. Did the... Okay, what's going on with the venison? Oh, wait, wait. Come on. You can do it. Yes! Okay. All right, so now we're going to trade. Um, let's grab... Let's see. How much of this do I want to give up to him? If I give him 250 Wow, well, that's actually... Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take 210 and 210 and that should be 140 yep boom thank you so now we'll have a lot more variety in our food well I shouldn't say it that way but it is two new food sources and that's enough food you know like it'll it'll last for a while so that's actually pretty cool it's not something like sheep that, you know, I really wanted, but we'll make do. And the builders are hard at work here. All right, so I haven't really looked for a while. Let's see what we're doing. Wow, man, like for seven to eight people working all year, this just really seems unimpressive to me. So what I'm probably going to do is switch to coal next year, cut way back to like two people or something, and then have the rest gathering iron down here for as long as it lasts. But it's just, I don't understand why the mine and the quarry seemingly do almost nothing at all. Very disappointing. Okay. So now that, oh, you're kidding me. I didn't want some stupid 52 year old single man moving in there. I want the kids taking the place. He stole Lion and Ray Lynette's house. That is not a nice man. Let me just say that. Okay, let's go ahead and start this one again because I would like to finish it and it's pretty close. I'm not going to try to build another house this winter, I don't think. Although we could. I wonder if we should. Does that make more sense, really, when you get down to it? <sighs> hmm. The reserve of firewood is low. Um, is it really? Yeah, it is. But it's late winter, and this is already staffed, so I mean... I'm not sure what else I can do, really. Oh, uh, maybe it's low because I don't have anyone working as a laborer right now. Although the farmers should be. Let me just do this briefly. There we go. Now they're picking up this stuff. So we should see that number bounce back up momentarily. Oh, you're kidding me. Whoa. So this house caught fire. I can't remove it. Uh, 
Ugh. So, they're bringing the water over. Holy crap. I guess it was a good idea to put that well in, huh? They're bringing one... F Maybe I'm confused. Okay, I actually... Can't tell that much is going on right now, to be honest with you. So, this is the first time I've seen a fire. Will it spread to other homes? I'm a little worried about that. I see someone carrying a bucket. I'd like to see a little bit more urgency, to be honest with you. <laughs> Come on, man. Just douse it. I, I have no idea how much water it takes to put one of these stupid things out. But I really hope we're approaching that point. Because this is going to be, like, truly a disaster if this thing just starts spreading. Come on, man. They're not even going to the well. They're going to the river. Which is kind of weird. Did I misinterpret what this thing does? Provides water for putting out fires. Well, I don't know. Just because it shows them going to the river, maybe they wouldn't do that if you didn't have the well. I don't know. And I don't think I want to try destroying the well and then waiting for another fire to find out. So, I mean, they keep pouring water on. Oh, okay, okay, go, oh, yeah. Woo! And nothing else is burning. Oh, thank God. Okay. But, um, let's rebuild. Man. Well, that's a thing. Oh, crap. It's early spring. I need farmers. Um, so what that means, I, I think I'm just going to have to cut staffing at the mine. I don't think I really have a choice. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that one. I meant to do this one. Yeah, I mean, we got 34 iron all year. So, all right, I'll keep it at three for now, but, I mean, that's not good. Not by any stretch. Interestingly, oh, okay, I was going to say, I don't see anybody with the little house icon indicating they're homeless, because <laughs> they should be, kind of, I think. So, do we have builders? Yes, we do. Um... All right, I guess what I'll do is, is crank this up to four just until this stupid thing gets done. Because we're so close. I mean, it's just right there. Come on. I know somebody wants to do this. I sense it. I don't see anybody even coming down here. Am I at one speed? Yeah, I don't know how that happened because I did not change that. I could swear I didn't. So I apologize. That's why it's it's been moving slow, but I did not I did not know it was on one. Uh, that was not my intent. Okay, here we go. So now I can ease up on the builders, go down to two, and we'll have four laborers again. Okay, well, wow, so they have to demolish it and then rebuild it. Hopefully they're at least salvaging some of the stuff out of it. I don't know if it works that way or not. It does look like it, it did. Uh, not necessarily all of the materials, but at least some of them. Well, that is cool. We will watch them rebuild it when we come back.
But that's all for now. So thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.